Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Back with another video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. This video is going to be about seven signs. God's about to bless you. These are things I wish I knew when I was younger. So I'm going to share with you guys my experiences. Best believe everything that I'm about to show you guys is things that I experienced before I received my blessing, before, before I received my big bank breakthrough. Can't even speak right now. What the heck? Number one is the devil will try to stop you. The devil sees you're about to be blessed before you see you're about to be blessed. Just like when uh, Jesus was fasting, the devil knew that Jesus had a high calling. The devil knew what Jesus was about to do. What did he do? He came to him and tried to sell, get him to sell his soul. I have a video that I did uh, about two months ago. I was at 10,000 subscribers and I had a dream that Satan gave me a contract and he wanted me to sign it. He wanted me to sell my soul for money and fame. Okay. And in the dream, I declined it. And, it, and he came to me as, um, as a female, as a beautiful female. The Bible says Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. Okay, so the program that they programmed us with, with like the devil, with like the red horns, the red face, scary looking. No, the Bible says the complete opposite. He comes disguised as the angel of light. Now, of course, I declined the deal because I'm a warrior of the most high God. I work for him. I work for the kingdom of God. Net, what, what's the point of selling your soul? It's all vanity. So there's no point, right? Just like the Jesus saying, try to offer him to sell his soul. What he said in the mountaintop, if you bow down to me, worship me, I'll give you every, this and that, all the things. He said, no, I said no too. Woo, let's get it. So understand this. Satan saw what Christ is about to do before. He saw and he tried to stop it. So best believe when your blessing is coming, guys, the devil's gonna he's gonna use your friend, he's gonna use your family, uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, maybe even your own children. He's gonna use people to, to jump in their body, jump in their spirit, and try to stop you. All right. You gotta understand spiritual warfare and understand this. When your life is getting harder, ooh, number two, when your life is getting harder. And when you're doing the right thing, that means your blessing is about to come, guys. If your life is getting harder, it means there's two things. Either you already leveled up or you're about to level up. Even the Bible says that through the furnace, uh, you got to go through the fire. I'll leave a verse right here. You got to go through it to get to it. You got to go through it to get through it, guys. And that's how you're going to appreciate that blessing. That's how you know that blessing is going to be internal. When God blesses you guys, it's internal. It's not only with material things and like worldly things. It's inside you. Increase the faith. Increase the hope. Uh, a stronger spirit the blessings of god is internal and when god blesses you no man could take it away from you okay so understand this the devil will try to stop he will, i'm telling you guys he's gonna use people when your blessing is coming guys my youtube channel just got fifty thousand subscribers this month bro i've been getting attacked non-stop but I, I didn't give up i didn't give up i'm coming i'm gonna keep on going Woo! because this is my calling this is my calling and he's using people to try to discourage me he is using people to try to drain my energy he's using people the devil got a job to do, but us children of God, us warriors for Christ, we got a job to do as well, too. The devil's working overtime. We got to work overtime, too. Like I tell you guys, it's the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. We must be, be sober and vigilant and put on this armor on the full armor of God. Because I'm telling you guys, every time God's going to take you to a new level, there's always going to be a crab in a bucket trying to pull you back down. There's always going to be a devil trying to stop you what God has planned for you. Because the devil doesn't want you to reach your higher self. He doesn't want you to be what God created you to be. Okay, he doesn't want you to do it. He wants you to be smoking, uh, fornicating, uh, watching the websites. He wants you to be sinning. Okay, so once you be obedient and you give up those sins, see the devil won't bother you when you're living a life of sin. He only bothers you when you're trying to leave that type of lifestyle. When you're trying to leave the strip club, you're trying to leave scamming and uh, all types of you know all types of corruption. You try to leave you know stealing or leave certain friendships, relationships. The minute you try to do that, that's when he attacks you. When you try to give up the life of sin, that's when he's gonna attack you. He don't, he don't bother you when you're living a life of sin because you're, 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 already have, you're already comfortable. You're already comfortable in sin. There's no need for him to bother you. But when you're trying to make it out, that's when he's going to attack. Spiritual warfare, understand, we don't battle against flesh and blood. We don't battle against people. We battle against spirits. Always understand that. The minute you get that level of understanding, you're going to be more at peace because you realize that person's not hurting me. I mean, they, they probably are hurting you, but it's not them. It's a spirit using them. Okay, so understand your life will get harder means you're about to build. But also, guys, your life could get harder because you could reap that too. Let's take accountability. If you're sowing to the flesh, he who sows to the flesh shall reap corruption. So if you are doing wicked things, through, you know, living a life of willful sin, and your life is getting harder, it's not because you're getting blessed. It's because you're reaping what you sow. Let no man deceive himself. Okay, number three would be people will give you signs before it comes. I had a, a YouTuber, some of you guys probably already subscribed to him. Shout out to Newbury. Uh, Newbury Global Truth. Uh, I did a build a, a live with him back when I had 10,000 subscribers about a month or two ago and he was like mark your channel is about to blow up you're about to be the biggest thing and i had other people tell me i had friends who were live telling me he's like mark you're about to you know you're about to be the next thing i didn't when they told me that it made me happy it planted the seed in my mind like dang i have people who believe in me and, that, and that's that's a great feeling 
But I didn't think I would get this. I didn't think I would grow this much, guys. I'll be honest. I didn't think so. So God will put put it in the other people to tell you. Okay. And and one thing that when they told me that, it motivated me more like, dang, you know, like I got to go hard. You know, I got to live up to expectation. You know, if other people believe in me, I must believe in myself too. So it's like, a, it's like an increase of confidence. And God will tell other people too that, you know, to stay on the right track, stay on the path. Just like how God told Jesus before when they were having dinner, God told Jesus what's going to happen when Peter betrayed him, when Judas betrayed him before it even happened. The, the father warned the son. Okay, well, us being sons of God, the ones who, you know, not everyone's a son of God, but the ones who are being led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So God will always show you what before it comes. All right. So yeah, number four would be God will allow Satan to attack, to test. So Satan will try to stop you, but also it's a test too. The book of Job, I recommend everyone read the book of Job. That's also a book with nothing but wisdom. The book of Job pretty much explains how um, Job was a perfect man. He feared God He and um, the, the devil wanted to, or God wanted to test Job. So he sent Satan to test them, okay? And and even God was like, no, um, God God uh, God told Satan that everything that was gonna happen, uh, Job was gonna pass. But Satan's like, nah, let me try him. So God tested them. What did Job lose? He lost uh, money. He lost he lost everything. He was he got sick, real sick. His wife told him to curse God. He lost his children, okay? But he he didn't. And in the midst of all that, he never lost his faith. You got to be like Job, guys. You got to have the faith like Job. In the midst of that, he got tested. And what happened when he passed the test? God gave him double, double portion. Okay, so sometimes God will allow Satan to attack, just to test his test. Just, like I said, guys, a furnace through uh, affliction. Okay? You got you to be ready to pass a test. And if you're not ready to pass a test, you ain't ready for the blessings. You ain't ready for to receive double. You ain't ready to see, receive double, guys. So understand. Please understand this, guys. And to see, before God prepared that test for Job, God knew Job was going to pass it. He already knew Job was going to pass. That's why he did it. That's why he did it. And it's a lesson for all of us. For me, for all you guys watching who made it this far, it's a lesson to you. Like, never give up faith. Never lose hope. No matter no matter what's going on in your life, guys. Understand God is still there. And we must have trust and faith that whatever is happening in your life is, is for the greater good. Okay? As long as we're living obedient. Because Job, he didn't open any doors. Because it was just a test from God. He allowed saying in. Job chapter 1, verse 2. Number Five is that he'll make you wait. You gotta be required patience. Uh, James chapter one verse, James chapter one verse two to four. I'll leave a scripture right here, but it pretty much says, "Let patience have her perfect work, that he may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing." Okay, so patience is key. Uh, one thing that I noticed that God definitely before my YouTube channel blew up, it took me three years, so I had to have a lot of patience. Okay, I saw a lot of people blow up, and I'm like, "Dang, when is my time?" But I just stayed consistent. And that's what happens too before you get your blessing, guys. You got to stay consistent and you got to be patient. You got to trust in God and put in work too. Faith without works is dead. And also that would, um, you reap your harvest in due, in due time. So understand, you got to be patient. I, I understand this This is what gave me patience, guys. This is what gave me true patience. I understand. Now I gave understanding, 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 wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. To know that, okay, just be patient. What God has for you and what God has promised you, it will come to pass. God is not a liar. God is not a liar. So whatever God promised you, it will come to pass in due time. Just be patient. Just be patient. God's promises always, always going to be true. Okay. Um, number six, you will feel it. Before God blessing comes, guys, you're going to feel it. You're going to speak it. And it's not like you're now. You now. I, I believe in affirmations. I believe in the power of the tongue. You know, I, that's what the Bible says. Uh, death and life in the power of the tongue. And they who love it will eat the fruits thereof. But even when, even before, even not even thinking about affirmations, you could feel it in your spirit. God puts it in your spirit. He puts it in your soul. He puts it in your mind, your body. He just puts it in you to just know that it's coming. And you could feel it. Like you could just touch it. Okay. The Bible even says, what, what, uh, what a man hopes for, why does he, uh, what a man, what, why do we hope for what we see? Because if a man sees, there's nothing to hope for. I'll leave a verse right here. I don't want to say no verses out of context, but pretty much saying like, just, just be patient. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel that blessing. Come when you feel it, just, and while you're waiting, work. S continue to seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Can, as you're waiting, that's what you should be doing. Seeking God's kingdom, seeking his righteousness, okay? Doing the best we can to break free from the demonic strongholds, to break free from any demonic spirits that might be attacking us or attacking our families. Stay in prayer. Maybe do some fasting. You know, these are things that build our spirit up, okay? Start reading our Bible more, study the shoulder, stuff for proof. Uh, gain our relationship, get, building our relationship with God through Christ, because no man can come to the Father but first through the Son. So we gotta have build our relationship with Jesus Christ, and then now we can have a relationship with the Father, the Father and the Son. Okay, and understand this too that 
it's always a relationship first before religion relationship you gotta be you don't have to go to a church building on sundays on wednesdays it should be an everyday thing you should always have a personal relationship with the son and the father every single day okay so i want to make that very clear guys it's all about relationship people say oh religion religion you know if you're religion that's fine if you practice religion that's fine but make sure it's always you're prioritizing a relationship with him that's how you get to know him and you must be led by the spirit the holy spirit okay number seven is god will tell you which is linked so you will feel it and you got to endure though i put in dear because when like i said when you, you gotta endure what the devil trying to stop you you gotta endure that you gotta your, your life getting harder you gotta endure that uh satan testing you you gotta endure that you gotta endure all this the weight patience you gotta endure that you gotta endure this stuff bro you gotta be built for this man he who puts his hands to the plow and his plow to looking back, looking back, it ain't fit for the kingdom of God, man. So you got to be built for this. You got to be ready and really trust God, man. The Bible even says, blessed is a man who puts his trust in the Lord, man. So understand that the devil will try to stop you. Just like the devil tried to stop Jesus from reaching his calling. The devil's always going to try to stop you, especially if it's linked to the kingdom of God. It's linked to saving souls, helping God's sheep. Oh, he's going he's gonna to do his best to stop you, all right? Number two will be your life will get harder. Your life will get harder. And, you know, and you, you might feel like giving up. That's just a devil. That's just a devil trying to attack you, okay? Number three would be people will give you signs before it comes. People, God will put it in people to tell you. And, that, and the reason why he does that is to keep you on the right track. To let you know son or daughter, you're, you know, people see it. People, people see stuff in you guys before you start to see it. People see it before you start to see it. So God will, you know, let people tell you that before time. Number four would be God will allow Satan to attack. To remember, it's just a test. Okay, now Satan can attack you if you're disobedient. If you are rebellious, if you're disobedient, if you're living a life of willful sin, but if you're living a life of obedience, if he's attacking, understand that. Okay, so I want to make that very clear because Satan can't attack you if you're living a disobedient lifestyle. Number five would be make you wait to increase your patience. I'll leave a verse. I probably already left a verse, but James chapter one, verse two to four. Number six, you will feel it. You will feel it in your spirit. You're feeling it in your soul. And that's going to give you that. That's like, it's just like, think about your gas. When God uh, makes you feel it, Think about when your car runs out of gas. You got to pump it back up. That's exactly what God puts inside you, your spirit, your soul. It's to recharge you. So you'll start to feel it. And the more you start to feel it, the more it's going to come, the more it's going to manifest in life. Number seven is God, uh, God will tell you and you will endear. All right, God will speak to you in dreams. He will give you visions. Telling you now you got to, this is the main thing though. You got to endear. You got to endear all the devil's attacking, life being harder. You must endear. The Bible even says, I'll leave a verse right here. Grow not weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Your blessing is coming, guys. Your, your season is coming. If, you, if you've been seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness for months and years, and you, you, know, you wonder you know, what's happening, I'm letting you know, Mark, the messenger, your time is coming. Keep on endearing. Keep on seeking the most high God. Keep on seeking his righteousness, and everything shall be added to you. I'm telling you guys, it's our time for our chosen ones to rise, man. It's a time, bro. You got to speak it. And, you gotta, and whatever God's calling you to do, you got to do it. Woo! You gotta love this. You gotta love the truth. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. It's just a great position. God is great. God is good. Jesus is great. Jesus is Lord. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to support me, links down below. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.